everyone, Stratix here, taking a look at an indie turn-based tactics game called Templar Battle Force. I recently purchased off of Steam um, during the uh, winter 2015 sale for $6. So that is on sale. Uh, I'm, I, I'm thinking it's like $9.99 regular, like $10 regular. Um, this is very much a kind of a translation of a tabletop miniature game uh, or a turn-based uh, tactics pen and paper slash board game. Uh, and I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay here. I, I have this one I'm going to jump into um, and get started and show you some things. I'm going to try to keep this video short. First of all, um, if anyone's played like Warhammer Quest, uh, which is, uh, or maybe it's War, I think it's called Warhammer Quest. Maybe Warhammer 40k Quest, I can't remember exactly now. But this is definitely a, uh, in the vein of that. Warhammer Quest, I believe, was an attempt at being a, a honest translation uh, of the Warhammer miniature tabletop game into a video game. So you're dealing with boards, levels, your levels are boards, and it's a ton of math going on behind the scenes, a bit based largely off of dice rolls. This game, as I believe, everything is based off of D, uh, D10, uh, D10 dice rolls. As you can see, we can zoom in and out. Uh, this is actually the very first, I think, mission. This game also, my very uh, initial um, op opinions and reactions to this, and I haven't played this for any great length of time, I think total is like, tw like 30 minutes, I haven't beaten this board, is... Uh, it is uh, very easy to get into. Like, I... Uh, I went through a little tutorial, and it, unlike some of these miniature tabletop games and board games, it was very quick and easy for me to get into. I'm, I mean, I'm already largely understanding the concepts very easily. Uh, nothing, n nothing deep has been thrown at me yet. Um, we can uh, look at my current quest objectives. We got a quest objective to begin with. Uh, we have to rescue a guy. I met up with another guy, so I have two Templars here I'm dealing with. And we're supposed to like go up here to find this area to meet up with somebody. i probably help them out to beat the level. Um, here we have our initial uh, abilities. If we look down the bottom left, we have Next to the name, we have a little A and an M. That's action points and movement points. So I have five action points and three movement points. What's interesting here is if I I can move around. Let's move up here. Okay, and I spend movement points, and I still have five action points. But if you're uh, going to use action points, they'll they'll consume movement points as well. I can't remember right off the bat, though, if I tried to spend, like right now, if I tried to spend them, if they would work. I don't think they require the movement points to, like, attack. Like this, for instance, takes two AP. But if my movement points were there, they would consume them. I think that's how it works. Uh, we have, I can switch between Templars here, but I can also just click on them. Uh, right here is our squad we can look at. Uh, to the left of my face is my heat. I've been, you generate heat. Like if we look here, uses 2 AP per weapon and plus 3 heat. And I believe the green bar is my health. Uh, up top is um, the objectives window again. Right here though is interesting. You use ordnance. Uh, I don't have any. I think it's something you end up buying and gaining. Now, in the bottom right, I have an icon here that says Active Effects, Commander's Confidence, which is this. 
and I can click on it, and it's giving me plus two to all accuracy, plus two to dodge. So this is very much a translation of of a. Uh, I can't move there. Can this guy move still? I have six movement, and you have to end end each turn. This is very much a turn, but uh, an old, maybe old school turn-based tactics game that's more in the vein of a translation from a physical game into a video into a digital form so we're gonna make our way up here I have six AP I'm gonna go one one two that's gonna cost me three and there my view is expanding I'm gonna go three more one two three that'll expand all of my we'll move my my guy here has six AP as well that's one, two, three, four, five, so I can go up there. And that turn. There's a, um... There's a feeling, because it was so... They call it pick up and play, and I think I understand why. Because I'm already playing the game, and, and to a... To, I mean, I already solidly understand what I'm doing. I don't feel like I'm still... I don't feel as much as of learning still as just actually playing uh, so it's like real quick easy I don't know if that's gonna also mean there's no real depth or or serious turn-based tactics hardcoreness whatever you want to call it in this but so we got an enemy here it's a Xeno I wanted to show you some other stuff here let's take a look at the library this will give us a quick little you know we can glean a little bit of what's governing the math behind this game here real quick uh, we can look at all this Templar equipment we can look at the attributes uh, it tells us a little bit of how these how the math is working out in here uh, fortitude's critical is a critical attribute blah 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 uh, willpower uh, increases damage multiplier from critical hits from grenades each point damage by six percent there's probably six different difficulty levels when you start the game. Uh, like easy, normal, hard, and then there's like three other difficulty ratings and they all change the behavior of how difficult it is to play. And, and some of the difficulty settings do have like permadeath. Some have permadeath. If you attain a victory, you get... So any, any guy who dies during one of the campaigns will stay dead but if you fail you get to a reset I guess all right so we got it we have to do some actual combat here one two and these guys are tough close-up or that's what the initial tutorial told me now I don't know about line of sight this guy has uh, precision fire and you can see our uh, radius so I need one two three and let me see I think I could I think I can hit him. Alright, so I think I can hit him again, because that was only 2 AP. And you can see, I think it took that movement away. Yeah, it took that movement away as well, but we killed him. We'll go ahead and separate a little bit here. Movement 6... Oh wait, let's go this way. Now uh, let's skip this. Hopefully it's not telling us anything too important. We might have to try to get through that lock. Or we might be able to get right to where we're going right up here. Now my initial feeling is there might not be a ton of depth. I think I might have already said that. But we'll, we'll play to the end of this. And see. I think there is some actual progression. Like upgrading... I was kind of hoping to finish him off. Alright, I'm gonna... I don't want to separate too much here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go ahead and move this guy a few... a couple. This guy can't really do anything else. He could try... he can counterattack, I believe. So you can... 
anybody familiar with turn-based tactics games like this? There we go. That's what I was hoping for. <clears throat> Six. Will be familiar... I mean, you learned the standards of any turn-based tactics game, right? You usually get action points, you'll have move... You actually usually get movement, maybe like a physical and movement base or whatever. You have a points pool. Everything is very mathematical hidden behind the scenes. So, and usually phase base, right? Sometimes you have a movement phase, then an attack phase, or they're blended. All right, let's move this guy. On to, let's move him right there. Uh oh, what's going on here? An event. Okay. And there is a story. I really can't say um, how awesome the story is yet. I haven't gotten very far. None of you shall pass my blade. Oh, we uh, completed finding him. That was our objective. No time to talk. We must seal the bulkhead. We have to reach the room to the west and engage the manual locks. Okay, we need to just... And then east. West and east. Okay. Wait a second. My security going is very cut either of the control room doors. Okay. Oh, wow. That was handy. Oh, I have to go back down. We'll have to make a risky dash. So, it's gonna be... You know, what I'm gathering from this is we're gonna have this strategy, right? Oh, there's a bunch of enemies. And so they're gonna keep coming from there, I guess. I, so I have to, the times of the essence now to get through this door and, in, and into here. So, is there a speed boost? Do I have a speed boost? What what does Overwatch watch? Can I right click on it while well, engage grants plus three damage? Okay, so we can right click on these. So function wise, uh, I'm pretty pleased with this little indie game. And I don't know if I, the word indie is even uh, the you know the nicest thing to to use uh, to say. I, I like the artwork. It's nice. Um, Things are solid. There's good music. Okay, let's go ahead and try to get down here first. I don't want to spend too long on this. I'm one, two, three, four, five. I can go. Whoops. Oh, what? That's right. We ended our turn, didn't we? Well, I, I can. Hmm. Should, I, I'm. I think I should stay up here with one guy, right, to help this guy out. So let's try and finish this. I, I thinking this is the end of the very first mission, which is you know in part a tutorial mission. Enemy turn, enemy turn. I guess there's a whole bunch of enemies moving. Now it's our turn. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's stay out of melee for now. Critical. Awesome. But that ate up my movement for him. Let's move up beside him to help him out. And I can expend calling shots. Use, what's this do? Plus three ranged accuracy. Let's use it. Oh, I think both of these guys get that buff. Okay, so that's nice. 
and I still have three action points. What's this do? While engaged, grants. Well, we could do this as well. Alright. What did that do? Did that apply? No, it didn't. Hmm. He uses 2 AP plus 6 heat. Why didn't that work? Anyway, okay, I don't know why. He uses 1 AP. This is plus 1. So this, this guy's a buffer. Well, why isn't that working? I guess that's an attack. Okay, this is using 2 AP. Let's attack something. Alright, and our turn. I spent way too long on that. But that's what you do with these games, you know? Um, I'm thinking people are gonna find this familiar with, uh, like, what was it called? Space Hulk? Okay. Now, how do I unlock this? Oh, I just click on it. Okay. Yeah, this is this has a very War Hammer 40k vibe with the Templars and that. But it and it's so here's here's one quick little thing before I continue on here. AP, I can attack. Well, I want to use that. So, if this is the, the feeling of, of getting, of um, being based off of a, a physical game, was it based off of a, a real physical game? Or is this... Or is this a, a, a totally homebrew? Is this an original, like, so to speak, an original IP? An original intellectual property? I'm assuming it is. If it is, I mean, that's pretty cool because couldn't you... Re maybe it's the wrong terminology, but couldn't you reverse engineer this into an actual physical-based game? Now, what do I have here? I can start over with this guy. Let's punch this thing. That does. Bam! Didn't do much. Didn't seem to do much. Punch it again. Bam! Okay. Now this sh we should be able to shoot with this. Let's shoot over here. Alright, end that turn. Good, I blocked and my counter attack does wicked damage. Zero. Oh, it did 15 to him. Oh, he doesn't counter. Ooh, maybe he should back off. Oh my gosh, he should back off. Oof. I only get one counter. Wow, they're just popping up all over the place. This guy needs to back off. Do I do I have to make the attack with this guy? I guess I should have been. I wasn't <laughs> okay. I, I thought he was gonna be AI controlled. Frag grenade. Ah yes, that's what I was hoping for. It does um AoE damage. But I have a limited amount of these. How much is this? Uses 2 AP per weapon plus 9 heat. Okay, I'd have to get closer. I'm not sure I want to get closer. <clears throat> okay, I should be able to do this again.
so that's it for him. He's got full movement. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now it's the enemy's turn. Hopefully this will be over soon. I'm trying to think of what more I can add about this. Re I mean, to recap, really, if you're familiar with turn-based tactics games, uh, you understand that there's usually a dice roll system that's going on behind the scenes. Uh, but usually it's not just luck, okay? It's not just, oh, I have no control, I'm doing, it's random. I'm, uh, don't, anybody totally new to this, don't think that. That's, it doesn't seem to be what this one is doing. Some of them have done that. Some of them can do that, but don't, this one seems to be actually using predictable, uh, strategic, tactical, that you can plan it, but there will be a little bit of um, a little bit of that involved. Uh, I should he could probably defend off that one, so I'm attacking this one. Oh, nice! And then this one. You know what? I think that was spread, and I probably should have not used it. Oh, nice. I took out both of them. I keep getting achievements for these two. Uh, okay, so. That's good. This guy needs to move here. And I guess we just clip on it. There we go. Oh, uh... Closing the doors killed them? Do they need, like, space to be able to breathe in space? They can't... Wow, they all died. Okay. Ah, uh, just skip this. Okay, I guess this is an animation. Okay, this is what I want to see here. Uh, this is the victory conditions. Two veterans, 16 turns, goal 15th. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? I could have got a bonus. So that's cool. You can you can try to achieve... See, this is actually kind of nice. Um, these are nice elements for a turn-based tactics game. To have various victory conditions and bonuses you know, kill counts, but uh, bonuses based off that, 10 XP, oh, it looks like there's some progression after all, so, except... Okay, so welcome to your Battle Force HQ. After each battle, you'll return here, here you'll manage your veteran Templars and army build. Excellent. Each victory earns your Templars new experience. They gain levels, so great, they gain levels. To train personalize them, access your veterans list. Okay, and what's this tell me? Those Templars are marked up. Okay, to finish improving a Templar, follow the little highlight. When it gains level, they gain an attribute point to spend. A skill point to spend. And a talent point to spend. Great, so we let, we need to take a look at this. Uh, finally, a Templar gains an additional gear level point. The sum of a Templar equipment gear level cannot exceed his or her current gear. Okay, let's try to get on here. Therefore, new gear level. Okay, let's go here. I think. One of your first choices will be whether to focus your captain on melee range or mix a bow. This is very tip. Still, this is all typical of the turn based tactics. Now, what's going on here? Oh, I guess now we can do this. Um. Open deploy, turn goal 18 for dark deck 14, I see. That would be our next. Uh, okay, let's go to veterans. We have these guys here. We have level up, gear up. So let's look at level up. Nice. So this one, this is where meat and potatoes are coming into play. Here's our level. We're level 2 XP. We currently have one of our 60 towards level 3. 
gear level allocated 607. I'm not quite sure about I'm understanding that. HP, heat, AP. So here's fortitude. And, of course, scrolling over it. What's nice is, though, before we even got to this point, the, per the uh, developers put in a menu that we could look and see what governed the attributes and a lot of stuff. It was in the library. I, I Maybe I was... I hope I looked at that during this playthrough. There was a previous video I deleted. I looked at it. So melee accuracy equals 3 strong plus 8 standard. We can't, so we could up this. I have one attribute to spend. Uh, increases max hit points. Reduces damage from overheating. Reduces damage from fire. Plasma rate increases critical damage. I like that. Uh, so I'm not going... My goal here isn't to, um, to explain to you the finer points of this specific game's mathematical computations. But to look that there is actually uh, progression and and army building in this game. Uh, it doesn't look like you buy units though. I haven't seen that anywhere. Uh, so we we got an attribute. Let's get a skill. Gunnery increases ranged attack. This is our captain, by the way. So let's concentrate on gunnery. Uh, that spent our skill point, it spent our attribute. Here's talents. What, review and advance your talents. Okay, let's check this out. So we got, wow, we've got a, a big list here of talents. Talent, one points to spend. Um, is it telling us how much each, each one costs, or does each one just cost? Some are locked, it looks like we have to unlock. Precision fire, ranged attack up to f four range. I have this already, though, right? What happens if I click on it? Okay, it's telling me precision fire power 1 to power 2. And then I'll, let's do train. Okay, so we train that. Now let's do equip. So we even have equipment here. It looks basic, but some equipment. So we have... Uh, let's go back here. Leviathan Plasm Sidearm, Shield Defensive, okay. So, how do I get new ones? I don't know. View Locked Weapons. Uh, I guess these are all locked still. We need levels, certain levels to unlock these. So these, so we actually add upgrades. Okay, that's kind of cool. What didn't I look at yet? I, I, looks like we can change our looks a bit, huh? Oh, look at that. So that's a little bit of customization. That's not bad. Um, what else am I trying to find here? Uh, gear up. It was why is gear up equipment? What am I trying? What am I equip gear? Let's oh add up. Did we not have that equipped? I guess we didn't, and that gives us plus two melee accuracy, plus one parry. Okay. Uh what's this? Tell oh see this is the same as going to the library by clicking that uh, red question mark. There was, I thought there was, I thought there was another way to look at, hmm, okay, uh, combat record. This is just the other guy. We we could give him melee, I guess. Train. Equip. What's he got? Bullseye lock. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have given him melee. <laughs> okay. He's getting strength and warrior. Okay, so there was. What else is there here to look at? 
I can respec. I want to go back to here. I want to look at requisition. Okay, wow. Okay, this is something here. Requisitions. This looks like a lot of... This looks like a lot of stuff going on here. So this looks like it could be yield a lot of fun in building your characters and army. Lots of... Uh, kind of like a talent tree, but it's listed under requisition. Uh... I guess I can't do anything. Unlock soldier for rec uh, basic command. I see. This unlocks soldier for recruitment. Your battle force lacks the 10 RP to unlock this. So over here is engineer. Unlocks new talents for like repair, new weaponry. So it looks like you can choose basic paths to go that will do different things uh, this sort of looks like an engineering class build this down here is a soldier captain so each one of these will likely have unique to it uh, skills and uh, attacks and whatnot unlocks a relic so it looks like there's relics maybe that can just be a, bo a boon a bonus. All right, so uh, I think I'm going to end this here. I wanted to keep this video short, but I wanted to give a, a good look at this game. This game's got me a little interested. I mean, well, I was interested before. Uh, that's why I decided to pay six bucks for it, right? But I, I think it'll be interesting. I'm probably going to come back to this video again, or not this video, this game again, in another video. I'm probably doing an article on Zero Friction and uh, do more with it. It's not so bad, uh, but long-term play will yield more information, will yield whether it's continuing to be fun. Uh, one problem I thought I was afraid of was like, is it just going to be boring and repetitive and not very deep? Because it was very quick and easy for me to get into, but I think that's, uh, I think that's a real bonus to it, to the people who, uh, to the devs. I'm probably going to try and get a hold of them and and maybe do an article and do a little bit more, but that's kind of interesting. I mean, it's like it's based off of a, of a, a physical game that um, that doesn't exist. <laughs> you know, like Warhammer Quest is based off Warhammer. Uh, there's a, I think people have tried to make BattleTech variants and other, but they're always like based off of a physical brand. IP and this one, as far as I know, doesn't have one. I'll have to pick the the developer's brains about this. So I'm going to end this now. Um, and uh, hopefully I didn't forget anything or or mess you know get any facts wrong or anything like that. If if so, I'll be like I said, I'll be revisiting this, and I could add to I could add information. If you have any questions, please let me know. Maybe I'll compile them and and try to hit on all those questions in a later video and uh, I'll try to get a hold of the devs see if they're interested and maybe they can clear some things up or, or add to it it looks like it could yield a lot of depth though for a turn-based uh, tactics game and really in my opinion we you know we can always use more turn-based tactics games like this so um, yeah that's my opinion and uh, I'll see everybody in the next video.